Laptops now outsell PC desktops, and it's easy to see why. You get the full power of a desktop PC and the portability. And with the fact that the prices have dropped so dramatically over the past few years, they are quite a bargain. Well, if there's one complaint I had about my notebook computer, it's when I take it from home back to the office. In my office, I've got all sorts of devices that I then have to hook up to it. And literally, it can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get everything up and going again. You can see here I've got my external monitor, my speakers, keyboard, mouse, even my printer and a, a digital camera. Well, there are things called docking stations, which allow you to plug everything into that one base unit and then one cable into the notebook computer. Challenge is, is all the bandwidth. Everything's multimedia now, and especially with the high-end monitors, you need something that can handle that connection. That's why if you're in the market for a notebook computer, you want to look for an express card slot. Card slots are the uh, little bays on the, the side of computers that we've been able to uh, hook in different types of devices. In the past, they were called PCMCIA or PC card slots, while the Express card is uh, much skinnier. But the nice thing, it's high bandwidth. We're having a look at the Belkin High Speed Docking Station, and it uses the Express card connector. And essentially, by plugging that into the, uh, the side of the notebook here, let's see it down on the bottom, I now have a high bandwidth connection. The Express card slot can uh, transmit information up to four times faster than USB and you need it for all the multimedia applications. Just get this out of the way to show you what the docking station is all about. The unit itself has a whole bunch of different inputs. On the top it's got two USB ports. So if I want to I can plug in my wireless mouse for example and even my digital camera. And on the back, let's turn this little guy around. You can see all sorts of additional ports. I've got three more USB ports so I can plug in additional things like keyboards, external drives, and I've also got all the full audio inputs as well, plus a digital out. And that's a nice thing because a lot of people are getting the 5 one surround systems for their uh, home offices and their offices to take advantage of all that multimedia sound. This thing can power all of that. As you can see here as well, I've got the two video outputs. And before I forget, I'll turn that monitor on just to show you what's happening here. I've got a VGA output and a DVI output, so I can get high resolution up to 1600 by 1200. And it's also got a built-in internal graphics processor, so it can handle the workload. And essentially, I've got a few different video modes. I can mirror what's happening on the notebook screen to the external monitor. I can also use it as an, ex uh, sorry, an extended desktop, so that I can have more real estate when I'm using my different programs. What I liked about it as well is that it works with all the uh, popular DVD playback software too. So it's codec uh, agnostic. It'll play anything that I, I put into the unit itself. And before I forget, you can even hook in your network connection as well. So you get your high speed network connection going right to your laptop. So as you can see, instead of having all these wires snaking across my desk from that one laptop, I've got them all into the Belkin docking station. I can put that off to the side and then I've just got that one cord that goes into the notebook computer. Freeing up my desktop, making it much easier to plug in in the morning and making me more productive.